from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. Well, good morning, everybody. I'm James Tully. Greg D. watching your forecast. We'll get to him in just a moment. First, here are your top headlines as we round out the week. We are following a developing story in Clearwater where police are conducting a death investigation near Clearwater Beach happening in the 1200 block of Mandalay Point Road. That is on the north side of the island where a county worker found bones in some mangroves. The Pinellas County Medical Examiner's Office will now try to find the cause of death and identify the person. They say it is possible those remains have been there for weeks. A state senator is now suing the governor for sending undocumented migrants on flights to Martha's Vineyard. Miami Senator Jason Pizzo is filing a lawsuit in state court against the governor, state CFO, and trans transportation secretary. Pizzo claims they are not following the rules when it comes to the $12 million migrant relocation program, which was used to transport the migrants. Pizzo says he'll drop the lawsuit if the governor stops flying migrants across the country. Now, the governor's office released a statement saying Pizzo voted for the appropriation and, quote, never misses an opportunity for his 15 minutes of fame. The office of Florida's CFO sent out a statement saying, in part, they're looking into a countersuit measure. Tampa International Airport rising to the top amid the recent travel chaos. TPA being named the number one large airport in North America, according to a new J.D. Power study. The airport claiming the top spot after coming in second the past two years. The report looked at overall satisfaction, including terminal facilities, baggage claims, security check, food and shopping. By the way, Philly International came in at the bottom of the list in that category. Okay, tonight, Tampa Bay Rays begin their final home series of the regular season. They're playing the Toronto Blue Jays, who lead the Rays by one game for the top wildcard spot in the American League. First pitch at the drop is set for 7-10. Also tonight, Undead in the Water opens in Tampa. The World War II ship American Victory, which is currently docked at Sparkman Wharf, will turn into a, well, take a look, a scare fest. The event will operate 12 nights through the end of October. Okay, Greg, you've got a lot to talk about. Right over to you. Yeah, a lot happening uh, in the world of weather today. Nice and quiet out there early, but we are going to see some scattered thunderstorms as we go into the afternoon. These are going to become uh, more prevalent as we go later in the day as a week cold front settles into the region. Rain chances in the range of 40 to 60 percent, and most of those along and south of I-4. That's where we'll see most of the rain ahead of the storms. Temperatures climbing into the low to some mid 90s. Take a look at the rain plan. If you're trying to get things done before the rain arrives, definitely do so before two or three o'clock in the afternoon. After that, the rain chances increasing to near 60 to 70%. Have a great Friday.